All right, guys. This is how this work is gonna work. Uh, just said. Um, I just plugged my controller through the Bluetooth. So I, <laughs> since I was so lazy to plug the cord on the PC, um, and I'm gonna show you how this is gonna work, right? If you're using your L1 and R1 to shoot and aim, to aim and shoot whatever, right? You should change it and swap it over here. I mean, you should swap it right here, right? But I use the L2 and, and R2 to aim and shoot, right? So you just should, so I'm gonna keep it like this, okay? Over here, you're gonna disable the outer screen. You can keep it on, but it might interfere with some micros inside the DS4 over here. So um, this I'm gonna disable it, okay? This is for the anti recoil. If you don't want to play with un any anti recoil, you just disable it. But I'm gonna play with it and to show you guys how it works, and I'm gonna enable, okay? This is for the heat fire anti recoil. You can increase it or decrease it. But I like this, it works so nice, right? This one is for when you aim and shoot. So this is overall the anti recoil for aiming and shooting, which is a normal one, right? You will always disable the rapid fire. You can keep this cycle shake like this, or you can just increase the radius and increase the speed for it, okay? So I'm gonna show you how it's gonna work in game, right? If you want if you want enemy to be tracked when you just aim, you just have to get the radius to ten and the speed to five. And just keep this one just like this. This is for when you aim and hold your ADS button with the sniper, it will hold the breath by itself. And the outer pin you should set it at two thousand milliseconds, okay? For the auto slide, you're gonna choose over here the button that you use for sliding. For in my case, it's cycle, okay? And then you just gotta choose again the same button that you use for sliding, which is, of course, in my case, cycle. Should have used 50 milliseconds over here for it to be very smooth, okay? And over here, you're gonna set it at, at 100. Okay, I have a lot of DPI, so. Doesn't matter, it could be a hundred and two, whatever, right? Over here, you're gonna choose the button that you use for jumping. In my case, it's cross, right? And same over here, the same milliseconds you set over here, you're gonna set it over here too. So I'm gonna drop this one to hundred. Wait, cause I have a lot of fucking DPI on my mouse. I wanna sc just scroll down. All right, right there it is. Okay, there it is. Oh, I forget to set the entry key. I'm gonna keep it like 30 maybe. That's all, right? So, in order to enable the the other macros, just click edit. You should never touch or change to rapid fire. Just keep it over here, because you will mess it up, okay? Make sure it says ambush over here. Come over here, edit. Then you just come over here, special actions, right? You will never touch aim boost over here, right? You will never do that. Just gonna play around with the double jump X, the drop shot, you're just gonna enable them, and you just have to enable also the YY. That's in case it is not enabled, okay? which is set in L3, right? The rapid fire or aim boost, you will never touch it over here, never, right? You're never unchecked in anything. If you just wanna set the macro to another faster macro or a lower speed ma uh, YY macro, just swap it, we just fix it. You can just hold it key and it won't, it won't swap the weapon, right? That's that's it, okay? The drop shot is enabled, the double jump is enabled, and the white macro is enabled. Also, the rapid fire. You don't need to mess around with this or with this one, right? Okay, so after that, just come to the game, open the game, just come minimize this one, minimize this, and let's head over to the game. I'm gonna show you the last step to do the RGB picker.
will come to the fire range. Press your press your Windows key on your keyboard. Then you just gotta come over here, drag this dot to the window of the game. Remember, it should be in borderless. Let it go right there. RGB picker, size and windows, and then the snapshot. Just like this. Then come over here. Or your left click on your mouse and drag it to the target and you just set your mouse over the target and click it the values will change over here then you are good to go right 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 now everything set like my slide console this is my slide console right so you can see I'm not doing anything else but using just the odd slide right this is this is what I was what I was talking about see that shake right there it helps you a lot with the aim so you don't need to worry about thinking on moving your right your left stick and also the auto jump right so now I'm gonna test the, rap the rapid fire just press this, press the PlayStation button on your controller and it will change to green your controller so, right as you can see right that's it right back to normal playstation button it will turn into red and this is the yy -Y. right that's all you have to do you remember that so what I told you about the anti recoil see it's going upward a little bit so I'm gonna just increase it a little bit like this 34 let's see if you are not such a good player you can disable you can enable the dry stick sag shake but if you are a good player already right you just disable it play without it play and just play around with this if you want right like right, I'm gonna test it like in 10 and this is the faster way so you can play around with it but if you are a good player just disable it and you can just play without having it um, in there right Because this will help you a lot to track enemies. To track enemies if you don't know how to compensate the as the aim is from the game and the and the DS4. I think I have the Let me show you guys how the profile swaps when you using the the anti recoil and the I mean the rapid fire. If you if you touch your PlayStation button it will swap to rapid fire so the controller will turn to green. So this is what's gonna happen, right? Single fire. Well, well let's test it with the see that's all it's gonna do. Rapid fire right there. For this weapon is not a rapid fire weapon. Alright, so back to normal now. Look. Back to normal, right? Right? Remember, you should have set your anti recoil for the one that works best for you. This weapon is not fine tuned, so that's why it's shooting like that, right? Otherwise, it would be would be shooting perfectly. Toma máquina. Toma 
Ya, yeah, no hay. No, pues yo, yo, te, yo estoy curando contigo. Yo también me estoy curando contigo, manito. Sobre la zona, cuidado. en la zona Atención. solicito un vuelo de reconocimiento parte del pelotón está fuera de la zona segura 